Alright guys, so let's move on to something else. But before we do anything else, I want us to do something with this piece we have going on over here. So I want to take the... Let's go into edit mode, okay? So take that one, go into edit mode. And let's take this one right here by hovering your mouse over it. And press L to select that whole piece, including this one. We can leave the one in the middle because it's not showing on the side. But just watch. This is what we're going to do. So we're going to press E and then Y. And I want to extrude this back to about somewhere here should be good all right so we're going to leave it there like that and what we're going to do now is to take everything press shift and n to recalculate the normals again click on object and select shade smooth like that now let's move on up here to this point so i want to take this that let's take the edges these edges one two three and four i'll press shift and e and type in one and let's take a look Alright, good, good. So let's take a look at these now. Let me see if we can apply to all of them. So press shift and E and type in one. And that should apply it nicely to it like that. We're going to do the same thing with this one. So let's go into edit mode. Select. Let's select all of the edges here. Alright, including these ones. One. The ones on the edges like that. And. Shift and E and press one. To keep it sharp like that. So let me take a look. We have a bit of a problem here. The only way we can fix that is to select this face, alright? So we're going to select the face on the outer like that. We're going to press I to insert the face a little bit like that. That should help. There we go. And then we can do the same with this. So select these faces. <coughs> Sorry. And let's insert it a little bit like that as well. And that should also work for that side. Alright, nice. So we can save that over. And now let's move on to the main thing we actually came here to do. And I think in this video, what we're going to be doing is, let's, let's make the lights on top of this one. But before we actually do that, let's see if we can finish off the front bumper real quick. So let's go into edit mode, just like we did with the rear bumper. We're going to extrude this to go up into these areas over here. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go into edit mode, alright? Let's go back to vertex select mode, right here, and uh, let me see, let me see the ones we're going to need. So let me just go into local view like this, and let's see, um, we're not going to need, we're not going to need all of these, so I'm going to press X and delete it, like that, and the ones in the middle I'm also sure, let's select all of this, and delete it as well, alright. Let me get over here. Let me see. Let's go back to local view. I mean global view. Let's take a look. Alright, so this pulls around this area, which is good. Just the way we want it to be. So now all that we're going to do now is to go into edit mode. Let's go back to global view. I mean local view. And let's select all of this over here. I'm going to press E and then Z. I'm going to pull it up to about here. Like that, and let's set it up a bit more. Let's get onto side view. So I'm gonna pull this in the y axis until we have a diagonal like that. So that should be good. Now let's get back to hold on, let me take a look at this. Alright, not bad. So let's get back to global view and let's see what we have. So you can see how that is looking just the way I wanted it to. That is looking great. But I just want us to add some few more things. Let's go back here. Let's go into edit mode. Let's take all of these from here to the center. Press E and then Z. Select this one, press S and then Z and type in 0. And then press S and then Y and type in 0 as well. I don't know if that was good. No. Let's pull it in the Y axis instead. So let's take all of these from here all the way to the center is what I mean. And let's pull it in the Y axis, press G and then Y. Now let's just pull it in the Y axis like that. Now let's take these two. And let's press F to fill the faces. Now we're just going to add one over here. Press E, align it with the bottom, and pull it all the way down close to that place like that. And that's it. <coughs> that should look great. Let's get back to global view. And you can see what I mean. So it's looking really, really good underneath the pieces that we have going on. Really, really nice. Nice. So yeah, 
that should do it for the bumper now all that we're going to do is to solidify it all around so let's go over here and let me see what we're going to do let's go into local view we're now going to solidify the front bumper <coughs> sorry um let me see i think we should add it in or maybe let's go into edit mode and see let's add in a solidify and see what we can get so add in a solidify modify and let's change the option to only rim like that let's increase that to 0 0.02 alright so maybe 0 0.02 might actually work so apply that apply it at 0 0.02 so just click on apply to apply it and let's take all of these out of the vertex group so select everything go over to the object data buttons and remove it from both group alright like that and now we're gonna, we're gonna have to fix things a little bit as you can see alright so let's get over here and just slide this down to here take this slide it down to there take that slide it down to there and let me see let me take a look oh, let's take this now I think that's the next one slide it down to there and we're gonna take this one now slide it all the way down to there take this now slide it all the way to there slide it all the way down first take this one as well slide it all the way down slide it all the way down and now we're going to take them one by one so let's slide this back up to here and let's take the next one and get into wireframe make sure i have the right one selected i think that's it press g twice and you can you can be sure of the one selected by the highlighted edges next to it so you can see this one right here the edges highlighted is over here so that's not the right one if you click again you can see the edges highlighted is on this side so that is the one we want to select and then press G twice and then send it up to here alright let's do it for the next one this one press G twice pull it up to there and finally that one pull it up to there so yeah so you can see that is looking quite good just the way we want it to and let me see I'm not so sure about this area, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this vertex here, because I don't need all of those ones. I really don't need them. So I'm going to, let me see, let me select, click on that vertex. Let's go all the way to the center here, to this one. Let's press X and delete it. Now we have to get rid of this one as well, because you can see it created an extra space after applying the solidify. So let's select all of that. Press X and select faces to get rid of all of those vertices in the center. <coughs> sorry all right so this area as well we don't need this one so let's get rid of it so vertices get rid of this extra one over here as well and finally the one in the middle like that all right so let's fix this area as well down here I'm gonna fix that real quick let's press G twice oh no there's one more there yeah so let's slide this all the way to the back here and let's take this slide it all the way to the back and let's take this all the way up bring it down a little bit more like that take this slide it all the way up bring it down a little bit more nice so I'm going to take this press G twice and slide it in here and I'm going to take that one again let's pull it in the let me see let's pull it in the Y axis a little bit take this one pull it in the Y axis a little bit like that and that should look great now let's take a look at this side so you can see we have something weird going on so let me just take this now let's take this one press G twice slide it all the way here let's slide this back to here let's take this oh no let's go into wireframe select that one press G twice slide it there let's slide this here slide this all the way here and then let's slide it back in place like that slide this all the way down and then move it back to the middle and let's slide this all the way here move it back to the middle like that all right so that should be looking good no more problems i doubt it okay all right so i don't know maybe we should press ctrl and r3 here press e and then f align it with this side and let's drag that in like that just to you know harden that edge over there very nicely okay so that is looking great all around nice let's go into edit mode and yeah 
I think everything is looking good. So I don't know if we should add another solidify, but I think it's good enough for now. We'll keep it there. All right. So let's get back to global view. And yeah. So that should finish off the front bumper. Except we have something small to fix over here. You can see it's sticking out a little bit. So let's just take that one. And let's pull it in a Y axis. And just take a look. Pull it in a Y axis. Let's take this two now. Pull it in a Y axis to there. Let's pull this in as well. Pull this in. And let's pull this in. Like that. Alright. Very nice. So we're going to keep things the way they are now. I think it's looking great. It's looking really good. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I actually wanted to continue this, but I'll see you guys in the next video.